Fallout vaults were never intended to save anyone, quite the opposite. Take Vault 106 for example, where drugs were released through the ventilation system, turning residents violent. If someone visits the vault nowadays, they experience hallucinations. Or Vault 112, where residents lived a perfect life in virtual reality until the overseer got bored and decided to torture them for hundreds of years. And what about Vault 92? Musicians were exposed to white noise that incited violence, resulting in them killing each other. Then there's Vault 108, where the overseer would die 40 months after the loss lockdown, with no other authority figure in charge. This led to numerous problems, including a guy named Gary cloning himself over and over, generating increasingly violent Garys who killed the non-clones. Ha <laughs> Gary! Others are outright madness, like Vault 43, where 20 men and 10 women were enclosed together, with a panther. Or Vault 69, where 1,000 women and only one man were confined. But what if it was the other way around? Well, that would be Vault 68, where one woman lived with 1,000 men. In which one would you have preferred to find yourself knowing that 